Okay, if you're in downtown Hilo and you want to get your education on, head to the Moku Papapa. I hope I got it right, the Discovery Center. I'm joined by Justin and Alex, one of the wonderful volunteers. Now, Justin, we were talking earlier, education outreach. We're going to do something cool. But if anybody doesn't know, I mean, education, is that the real main goal of the Discovery Center? It is. We're here to basically share about the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands mm -hmm. and the Marine National Monument, Papahana Mokuakea, which... <gasps> I'm glad you said it. I always have a hard time. <laughs> because it's in the news lately. It's expanded. President Obama did so many great things. Mm -hmm. But but when it comes to getting the word out there and letting people know, why is it important? Because it, it's kind of hard to get out to those islands, right? Right? It is. They're very remote and actually very sensitive area. Mm -hmm. And actually now the largest protected area on the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, incredible reef ecosystems and uh, long, long history. They're connected to us. Mm -hmm. They're the, the older islands going back up That's to 30 right. million years. That's right. And it's so cool here on Oahu, or excuse me, I said Oahu. No, we're on Hawaii Island, which is the youngest island. And it's seeing it traced back. That's kind of cool. Yeah, now, way. Alex is here because, Alex, you talk about the outreach. And you always have That's kids. Right. You always have mm -hmm. people, groups, schools that come here. Yep. What are we going to be doing today? And, and what, <laughs> why is this important? What are we teaching with this thing here? Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Taisa, we're actually doing about fish prints. Ah, okay. And in this case, this is a Japanese-style fish print called... Right Yotaku. here? Yotaku. Okay, that's right. Okay. And so for Papa, for Moku Papa Pup, um, we have kids do fish prints as a way to learn about the features of the fish. Because oh. they catch it, but sometimes they don't know what they're looking at. They say, oh, that's dinner right there. Yeah, right. That's all good and done, but mm -hmm. there's more to it than just dinner. Yeah, there's the, the fins, exactly. the eyes, those things like that. Okay, so let's get started. What should I do here? Okay, so we have four choices of fish here. Okay. Actually, three. We have the Lua a minpachi and a stingray. Okay. Please, choose one. Oh, uh, God, this is fun. Okay, I'm going to go for this one right here. <laughs> All right, the Lua. Okay. okay. So what so, do I do? Put it right here on the green paper. Okay. Now, the key now is to, once you have your, your brush, mm -hmm. please choose your color you like. Okay, so I'm going to go, let's say, you blue You can mix right and match here. any kind of colors. Okay, got it. Okay. The, um, the method is, is to a light layer. Light layer. Light layer, light exactly. Layer. Stick so it just, on the grooves. Okay, yeah. Okay. Back and, just, and forth. Back yeah. and forth. Oh, yeah, my God, back this and forth. is so much Anytime. fun. Now, I gotta ask for you, when, yes. when, when you're teaching and having the kids come out and, and doing this, mm -hmm. what is it like when you see them <laughs> learn and get excited about it and, and, and have fun learning? What does that right. make you feel like inside, I gotta ask? It makes me happy to see their smiles and their amazement in their eyes saying, ooh, mm -hmm. ah, because they get to do a hands-on activity. Mm -hmm. And from what I believe is hands-on helps them really get understand what the fish's biology is, mm -hmm. the features. You got it. Okay, so I got so my blue excited. right there. Okay, mm -hmm. so once it's nicely layered, mm -hmm. we'll get this paper right here. Okay. Well, this is exciting. And then we'll have the paper side down onto the fish. Oh, so I'm going to push it down. Exactly. Okay. So, can I? Here you go. Please. Okay. So once you put it down. And just put it down? Exactly. Oh, just gosh. put it down and okay. put your slide your hand onto the fish okay. and get to all the groove as much as you can. Oh, I see. There you go. Yep. Okay. And you know, I can really understand how this could be a really learning process because exactly. as you're doing it, I can feel the fins, right. I can feel the tail, I can do all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, this is exciting. <laughs> More important, we have these fish molds mm -hmm. because it's better to have these reusable molds instead of fresh fish because they can rot eventually. Excellent, and we want to always be giving back to the environment. Exactly. Okay, so what am I do now? Okay, once you feel like it's right, just yeah. peel it slowly off the mold. Okay, right here on television. All right. Oh, okay, let me grab that right there. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, detailed. Not too Look bad. at that. Oh. That is great. Not bear? too bad. Thumbs that up. Bear. Bear. Okay. Okay. Look at mine. I did this a few hours ago. Wow. <laughs> Much better detail right there. Okay. Lighter the better. Okay. So once we do this, though, yes. we can actually take it to a whole other level, right? Yes, we can actually. Okay. What do All we do now? Kind of, okay. So let's move this out of the way okay. here. Okay. All right. So with your newly printed fish, we can use for an example, actually. If okay. you want to, you can take the more finer brushes and you can choose any color to put any detail, like for the ah. eyes or something put on the the side of the fish or put the lateral line. All right. Now we're almost out of time oh, here, please. so I'm yeah, just going to no go ahead and put a couple of them more. But Justin, real quickly, if anybody wants to find out more information or there's a school or somebody wants to come down here, where would be the best place to go on information, website and all those yeah, things? Yeah, go into our website and I'll just, we have this little bag. Yeah, there we go. Oh, on. there you go. Papahanamokuakea.gov. Okay. And that has all of our contact information. Okay. And again, we're free to both the classes who want to come and for all visitors. And real quickly, your hours? Our Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 4. Okay, so let's okay. put this on the side. Okay. Do you still want to see use the same fish? Or yes, I do. Use? Okay. I do. Let's see here. These look like the same type, so we'll just use this clean one right here. Okay. Okay, so the same process. We're going to put this on the paper, choose the color you like. Do it again? That's right. I love it. I'm going to go green. Please, by all means. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. For, yep, that's a good layer. With every, with every little detail of the mold, we can show the kids 
specifically that's not just the fins but the reason the bone line or maybe something called the lateral line that's like uh. right across from the fish it's like a slightly invisible line that no one can see but it's a sensory organ for the fish to be aware of their surroundings mm -hmm. again a great way to teach exactly okay so now okay. what so now we get the bag okay Same method. so like the paper down we okay. got the bag down and you know Smooth your hands all over the fish, all nooks and crannies. Okay, here we go. All right, and Let's again, see how it comes out. Got to get all this way. There you go. And again, Just put smooth it, down. it out. Yep. And again, we're gonna have all the information for this wonderful Discovery Center on our website as well. But really, when you're in downtown Hilo, <laughs> make right. sure you guys come check this out. You can see great people and great <laughs> volunteers like Alex here <laughs> to you. show you what to do. Yeah, okay, ready? Right. Okay, we're ready. Let's do it. All right, here comes all the big right. reveal. See the mouth and everything, the gills too. Thank you too. guys. Nice Thank job. you guys. I learned something new. Uh -huh. Right so on. I'm glad you guys came today. Thanks for having me. Of course, yeah, our pleasure.